Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do part two of this page here. And this is the um, Be My Valentine coloring set from um, Mystic Art Mirrors. And we're doing part two. I'm going to work on her hair and some other areas here. And um, I've decided that I'm going to use some Prismacolors on this page too. Why not? <laughs> On the first uh, uh, video we did, we used uh, Copics and Luminance and Derwent Light Fast on this page already, so I thought I'd throw in another pencil set. It just seems logical, right? We might as well have a mixed media <laughs> alcohol marker pencil, and oh, you know, I'm going to probably put a uh, distressing background on here. <laughs> Mixed media, whole thing. Okay, I want her hair done in kind of a pink color, but when I was testing out pink colors, they were either way too bright for me, like neon pinks, or they were way too light for the purples that we have down. So what I'm gonna do is go into my um, little Magical Dawn package of pencils that I have. So I'm going to use a black raspberry and I'm going to use a uh, deco pink and a light flesh. I think that's what this sort of peach, light peach. Okay, so we're going to use those colors and we're going to do her hair. Now, I want you to know that I, I don't do this kind of hair, so I'm going to have a fun time trying to do. Um, unrealistic type hair here so I'm going to try to keep the shadows on one side and the darkness on the bottom but we'll find out how I work here we're going to take the <laughs> black raspberry first I put a little pink here so we're just going to go over that and we're going to lay some of this down And pull some of this up. And kind of try to keep this the lighter side. So then we'll go in with the deco pink. Pull that out a little bit. And then we'll go in with the peach. And get our highlight there. Okay, then we'll go back in with the black raspberry and pull it back out. And if you need to blend a little more, take the deco pink back in. And just blend a little bit more. And that's kind of how we're going to go about this. Now, if we need to, I don't even know how well that's blended, but we can take the little blending. This is a Karen Dash blender. Full blender, but this one's broken in half, so it's a half blender. <laughs> and just go over that to smooth it out. So, we're going to do that on every little blade of hair she has. So here we go. I don't know. I'll get the camera down and I'm going to tilt it so the pencil isn't in the way and then I'll move the paper so we're all back where we belong. And I'll tilt it a little bit. Now it depends if I want to have all the dark on one side here. These are tiny little puffs of hair that come out. So black raspberry, deco pink, and the peach. Just right up there. I know that a lot of people who are coloring these pages, they like to um, get rid of these black lines or don't care for them. I'm trying to keep them there, so I don't want a white or a light color coming into that. There we go. 
and then we'll do this one up here there's nothing wrong with uh, um, putting another color on there if you like I just for my very first drawing I'm going to leave everything the way it is and see how it looks when it's all done I just changed my whole pattern here. Well, we're going to mix them. How's that? <laughs> I said I was going to put the one color on the one side. And well, see how this goes Nothing else. It's going to be a nice and deep color, huh? Okay. This is going to be fun. I'm going to do this one here dark on this side. Berry. And dust it off. Okay, because this is dark here. I want this light, so we'll put the dark on this side. Deco pink. And the peach. <laughs> Go back in. The black raspberry. Okay, now you're wondering about this little one under here. Don't feel bad, me too. <laughs> We're just going to darken this section. And lighten it underneath. Let's bring that color up this way. And then when we put the raspberry on here, it'll actually change a color. Just lightly put some of that on there. But darken this tip here. And to make that even a darker tip, I'll put a little more of that pink up there. 
We're going to take a little black and on these little tips here, I'm just going to darken those black. There we go. Hold on a moment. Okay. If you want a little more white in there, you can just bring in your eraser to, you know, my best friend. <laughs> and then we um, can erase a little line out of there and then just fill it in with, I gotta get it clean. There we go. It's like, I want it a little lighter in here. So we're just gonna, Lighten that up a little bit. Right in that area. And then we'll just use the uh, deco pink in there. Just to pinking it up a little bit. A little more pressure. And it'll blend right in with the other color. Just thought it should be a little lighter there. Oops, crinkle the paper up. There. Okay, we'll just keep uh, going across. The bangs are going to look like that. Hair coming down is going to look like that. We'll do the top up here. Looks like she has her hair pulled up and then half of it comes down in here, but I'm going to take a little, it's like in three little sections, so I'm going to take one little section here. And a tiny bit of black down in there, just to give it a little more depth. Okay. The next one. And then the peach. Back in with the black raspberry. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing and then my arm isn't in the way the whole time. Go across here. Okay, 
and these little flyaways. Do those in pink. Yeah, those got a little. I'm dark there. I want to lighten those up a little bit. Especially that one that's kind of dark. We're going to um, throw a little white in there. Then put the pink on top of the white. We'll do the um, this little puffy part up here. It's got uh, the big lines in it too, so we'll just pick one to put the dark on. So we'll do that one dark, and then this one dark. Just go down to there, and of course this one here. This one and this little guy. Pink. with the black raspberry and just kind of pull it up back in with the pink and make sure that's blended. So I'm just going to do the other side because you don't need to watch all that. We're going to make it uh, nice and dark in there if I can find the black. And we'll just go around in there.
I'm just going to trace around the bow here to make sure our black line looks like a black line. So it stands out a little bit. Okay, <laughs> I think this is a little bunch of hair down here too. Okay, we're going to do the little box because I'm going to finish the rest of the hair off camera. And the little box is going to be done in the same color. It's going to have chocolates in it, so we're just going to, let's see here. We're going to darken this side here. And the bottom of the box. <laughs> that's the inside of the box. I think that's part of her top. Inside of the box. Okay. We'll bring in the, and I'm sure this is deco pink. Just going over the black raspberry. Don't go all the way up. We still have one more color to put in.
Oh, there is our little pencil. Here it is. Okay, the peach. the black raspberry again. Our eraser. I'm going to add a little line there. And put back in with the light flesh. I want that box to look like it's open. I don't know. I'll probably have to figure out that. Maybe it's darker from underneath down in here. going up. <clears throat> I get the black. I'll work on that part. We'll just do the bottom. <laughs> okay, the deck of pink. Peach. Go away, you. Back in with the black raspberry. Bottom of the box is going to be the dark red. So 
just finding the spots where it's gonna be dark red. <laughs> It has little lines in it like the bottom one. So I'm just adding those back in. Okay. So we'll have our hair red, the box red, and we're going to have to have something down here red. And I just don't know what yet, other than the hearts and stuff. Um, let's work on the chocolates. I brought out some pencils to work on the chocolates with. I did, I did. <laughs> Guess what color? Chocolate. I just have to find them. Hold on a second. Okay, so I have um, chocolate here. I also have some dark brown. We'll see which one um, actually looks chocolatey. How's that? So we want to make these um, chocolate. And this is dark brown. And then we will put in a little bit of the um, peach color. Kind of blend that around a little bit. Add the dark brown back over on the edge. There we go chocolates. Do that again. Um, I don't know. Why don't we get one, two, three, four, five of these? <laughs> so the chocolate first. Dark brown. It's a little harder to see. Okay. Wow. Oh, big noise out there. Somebody's having something delivered at their house next door. Big moving truck. I'm sorry, that was the light peach, and then go back in with the dark brown. No, oh, I don't think, did I put peach in that one? I don't know. <laughs> I will add a little more. OK, 
Okay, and then we have to do something with the little cups. Um, I'm going to kind of leave them a creamy color. So, heck, what are we going to do here? Um, what do we got over on this side? They don't want it too close to her face color. Um, let's see. What are you? Got that a pink white. I don't even know if that'll show up. <laughs> I don't think that's showing up much. We'll put a little um, peach in that on the inside of the cup. And just pull a little of it down. Maybe we'll get a little blue. Uh, light, not that light blue. <laughs> we'll get out a light white blue. I don't think that'll show up. This one. What is this? Light malachite green. Okay. That'll show up. Just do it very lightly. This is a luminance. There we go. It's a pretty color. And on the desk it stays. Okay, so we have a little box of chocolates. And um, we get our hair going. So we need to figure out her uh, outfit. Hold on. Okay, guys. <laughs> when I was trying to figure out what color to do her dress, what I did was um, finished her hair and uh, I still haven't quite decided a color on her dress yet to go with the palette that I have going on right now. So well, I'm going to call it for today and give it a couple of thoughts because I think she's turning out really pretty and I don't want to just jump in and put any color down. I kind of want to think about it for a little bit. So I'm going to do a part three on this. I might pull some of that brown into the dress uh, or a beige that goes with the brown. I don't want to bring in another color. I'm kind of liking the um, purple and the, I don't know what color you want to call that air. I call it kind of pink, but it's a raspberry color. So I thought maybe some of that down here in her dress, but I have to work it out in my head. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to sleep on it. And then I'll get back to you tomorrow on it. I missed a little bit of hair here, so I might as well get that colored in. Don't like missing hair. <laughs> it's like, whoops, I accidentally missed a whole side of your face. Whoa, oh dear. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, and then the little um, stragglers that come down here. I'm going to do in the black raspberry, but I need to sharpen it and drag some of those down. But if I'm going to ink in the background, I kind of want to do that afterwards. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to call it for today. So this is what she looks like so far. I hope you guys are enjoying, and I will see you in part three. Take care, everyone. Bye now.